acceleration due to gravity below Earth's surface. Let us consider a body of mass m is placed at a depth d below the surface of the Earth of mass m e and radius r e respectively. We can draw concentric spheres passes through point mass m which divides the Earth into two parts. Let the smaller part of the Earth has radius r e minus d and mass m s. So basically what we're doing, we are considering the Earth. So let this is the Earth and the mass and the radius of the Earth is m e and r e respectively. We are considering a point d below the Earth's surface where this mass m is focused. So when this distance is d, then the distance of the point mass from the center of Earth will be r e minus d. So basically, the distance of the point mass m from the center of Earth is r e minus d. Now, as we know that the density of the Earth is uniform, so we can write the density of a smaller sphere, which is this sphere with a dotted line, is equal to the density of the Earth, which is the entire sphere, because this is the Earth. So what we can do, we can write mass of a smaller sphere, which is this sphere, over volume, which is R e minus d q, is equal to mass of the Earth over q of the radius of the Earth. The reason why we are not writing 4 over 3 pi, because we have 4 over 3 pi with this term and this term. And that term will basically cancel out because they are the same term on both sides. So I was wondering like why do I write that term when we can cancel that term at the end. So that's why I did not write that. So our final term will be mass of a smaller sphere over mass of earth is equal to I'm taking this term over here because we are doing the cross multiplication. So I will write that is equal to R e minus d cube over R e cube. And let this is equation number one. As we know that the gravitational force acting on a point mass due to the smaller sphere is given as F is equal to G ms m over R e minus d squared. Because ms is the mass of the smaller sphere, which is this sphere times point mass m over R e minus d squared. Now, let's substitute the value of ms from equation 1 and if we do that, we will write f is equal to g, my ms can be r e minus d cube over r e cube times m e and which is over here and if we write that, we will get f is equal to g m e m over r e minus d square and now this term is over here, which is r e minus d cube over R e cube. Now let's simplify further and if we do that we will get this term which is f is equal to g m e m over r e minus d squared times r e minus d cube over r e cube. Now we can cancel out two terms from the numerator and denominator and if we do that we will get f is equal to g m e m r e minus d over R e cube. Now let's separate this R e cube into R e square times R e and if we do that we can take that R e square with G m e m. So basically we are writing F is equal to G m e m over R e square and the other R e will go with R e minus d which is R e minus d over R e. Now let's find the acceleration due to gravity below the earth's surface at a depth d which is given as g dash is equal to f over m. Now we are going to substitute this value over here and if we do that we will write g dash is equal to g m e m over r e squared times r e minus d over r e and then we are dividing the whole expression by m. So this m will be cancelled out and we will get g m e over r e square which is over here times r e minus d over r e which is over here. We know that g is equal to g m e over r e square. So basically for this term what we are going to do, we are going to replace by acceleration due to gravity g 
which is basically the acceleration due to gravity at the Earth's surface. And if we do that, we will write g dash is equal to g times re minus d over re. And we are getting this term from here. Now, if we simplify further, we will get that is equal to g inside the bracket 1 minus d over re. And this is how we find the acceleration due to gravity below the Earth's surface.